Can I start? Yes, please. Okay. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Yuki Akiyama from JAXA. And uh, thank you for giving me a chance to um, explain our mission. And now I would like to start my presentation. The title is JAXA Developed SLR Reflector Mount Fuji and Technical Demonstration on HDVX. Okay, this is the, uh, today's outline. First, I talk about the purpose of this presentation, and then background and overview of Mount Fuji mission. And at the last page, I have a message to IRS members. Okay, so the purpose of uh, this presentation. So why I am here? Of course, um, my boss said to me, yeah, Yuki, go, go, go. So that's why I'm here. But um, the, my purpose, my main purpose is to explain uh, Mount Fuji mission for which IIRS SAR campaign is essential to achieve its goal. And they also uh, to get some official confirmation from IIRS people that this, this mission is worthy uh, of the IIRS support. And now I am struggling to uh, write uh, mission support requests. So I, maybe I can submit soon. Okay, uh, background. Of course, uh, as you know, um, uh, space uh, getting uh, space situation uh, getting uh, worse and worse uh, in these decades, and the importance of ADR and uh, SSA uh, is increasing. In ADL, especially ADL, it is important to uh, grasp the orbit and the rotational motion of space debris before approaching to the space debris. So radar and uh, radar and or optical observations are a common way to uh, do this, but not sufficient resolutions for uh, obtain, uh, orbital attitude estimation. So JAXA is focusing on SLR to grasp understand the orbital and rotational motion of space debris. If all space objects have an SLR reflector, the visibility from the ground, I mean trackability, uh, is ensured even after the space objects become uh, space debris. And then uh, we can keep uh, a better orbital and rotational motion understanding. However, uh, conventional uh, reflectors are huge and uh, heavy and expensive because this is the, that is the, uh, for special purpose. So this is one of the causes not so many satellites have an uh, SLR reflector. So that's why we have uh, developed a small, uh, lightweight, and inexpensive SLR reflector named Mount Fuji. This picture is, of course, Mount Fuji, and here it is some um, specifications. As you can see from this picture, there is nine CCRs, and uh, the size is like this, just my palm. Okay. Uh, from this slide, I will talk about the overview of Mount Fuji mission. Mount Fuji, uh, three Mount Fuji will be attached on the HTVX. HTVX is the, uh, a new unmanned spacecraft as a successor to the HTV. This one. And uh, this HTVX will launch in this in fiscal year and uh, start Mount Fuji mission as early as April 2023. But maybe this plan, this is just plan and uh, maybe it, it will be uh, delayed because due to the, some rocket problem. The missions of the HTVX are here. And uh, of course, the uh, primary mission is to transport the cargoes to the ISS, but the uh, second uh, big 
uh, feature of this HTBX is uh, they can provide um, experiment platform and uh, yeah, there is um, technical demonstration phases after departing of uh, ISS and uh, uh, three different missions are, uh, will be demonstrated in orbit. And the Mount Fuji mission is one of them. The objectives of Mount Fuji is are uh, here. And first, of course, to verify uh, Mount Fuji performance in orbit. This can be easily um, verified uh, by detecting return signals. And the second one, second objective is to evaluate the accuracy of SLR-based attitude estimation using true data. True data means uh, telemetry of HTVX. Uh, this is, these are the procedures to uh, how to evaluate the accuracy of SLR-based attitude estimation. Uh, first, yeah, this diagram shows the operation overview in Mount Fuji mission phase. First, uh, we uh, upload the command to uh, attitude change command uh, before the some uh, pass. And then HDVX will change uh, attitude and uh, fly in special attitude motion. And at that time, we will perform the SLR and getting uh, SLR data, which affected, uh, uh, affected by attitude motion. And then uh, HDVX will uh, downlink uh, the uh, telemetry data, including true uh, attitude uh, history. And then uh, we will uh, estimate the attitude based on uh, obtained SLR data, and then compare the estimates and the true values. And here is the uh, uh, attitude. Uh, HDBX will take these four attitudes in Mount Fuji mission. LVLH is a nominal attitude, like, like this. And the earth pointing and along and cross pendulum is a special uh, attitude motion. And uh, earth pointing is uh, in earth pointing, Mount Fuji uh, direct, uh, directed, direct to, towards the earth like this. And the cross and the, uh, along and cross pendulum motion is like a pendulum like motion uh, in along and cross track direction, like, like this and this. And so space debris is considered to be flying in dynamic motion, like tumbling, not, I mean, not uh, static motion. And this special attitude motion is kind of an imitation of space debris motion. And such dynamic attitude motion uh, cannot be achieved uh, by ordinary spacecraft. This is a uh, special mission. The mission period is almost four, five weeks, maybe, and three weeks in Mount Fuji mission phases that starts after one or two weeks later departing from the ISS. But um, how long? Uh, the HTBX will be uh, better. Uh, I, I'm not sure, so it is difficult to predict now. And also one or two weeks before ISS approaching or after complete of all demonstration missions uh, to uh, evaluate the GPS receiver of HTBX. Uh, there is no restriction uh, HTBX have a star tracker, but uh, HTBX will not take attitude that any SLR stations enter the field of view of uh, star tracker as long as SLR is performed at the elevation over 20 degrees. 
so that thus uh, there is no risk to uh, violate the uh, star tracker by SLR radar. And the current status is here. Uh, complete, we, we complete uh, Mount Fuji uh, development and uh, already attached to the uh, HDVX like this. And the uh, HDVX uh, pressurized module of HDVX is also uh, completed to develop and uh, so we just now um, waiting to launch. Yeah, this is Mount Fuji and uh, here and here and here three Mount Fuji attached uh, of the backside of the HDVX. And this is me and good smile. <laughs> okay, um, this is the last slide. Uh, the message to the IRS members. Uh, for Mount Fuji mission uh, success, we need to uh, obtain sufficient SLR data, as many as possible. And the SLR is essential to achieve Mount Fuji mission. So we believe that IRS members are uh, interested in this mission, especially evaluating uh, the absolute uh, accuracy of the attitude estimation technique by SLR. And we really appreciate it if we could receive the IRS support uh, and perform the worldwide SLR campaign for Mount Fuji missions. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Do we have some questions from the audience? Okay, please speak slowly for me. <laughs> My English is not good. Um, could you say something about the observation strategy? So in your diagram, you had two stations observing simultaneously. Oh, no, just uh, um, that is just picture. Uh, we, yeah, uh, simultaneous observation is, of course, interesting. Um, the, in our uh, plan, uh, we would like to SLR above the... Um, how can I say, a European area or East Asia, East Asia area or uh, US area. I mean, uh, SLR, constru uh, how can I say, <laughs> there are many SLRs stations. So maybe some past, in, in some past, uh, we can uh, observe uh, simultaneously, but not, um, Necessary, maybe. Okay, you don't think that that's necessary for the yeah, yeah, attitude yeah. determination? Yes, yes. Just one single uh, station. Thank you. Yeah. Um, one, one question on the retroreflectors. Is there one intentional spoiling included, or is it just like the random, yeah, random, uh, yeah, misalignment of the of the rear surfaces, which is like. Excuse me, sorry. Excuse is there some is there some intentional spoiling of the so misalignment of the back surfaces in of the retro reflectors included? Mis misalignment to to. So estimate? just to have an influence on the far field diffraction pattern. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I couldn't understand what you said. So. Um, you know, we, we, for, for dedicated missions, the, far, uh, the retro reflector and surfaces, they are, they are misaligned with respect to each other. This is what I, what I was wondering if there is something included. Sorry? Um, yeah, spoiling. But we, maybe we can talk afterwards then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry. Um, do you... Do you have a feel how you're going to provide predictions? No, yet? excuse me, sorry. For predictions, CPF files for for tracking. Oh yeah, uh, I we will uh, deliver the CPS fi C CPF files to the. Okay. Yeah. And that will be based on the telemetry, presumably. Yeah. So, I just worry you've only got you've got a very short time to do all the experiments. You, you can't afford for the predictions not to be really good right from the beginning, because <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to have long. But, 
Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, particularly if you're moving it. Space if you're if you're doing adjustments of the orbit, then we'll need <laughs> new predictions. Yeah. Okay. So sorry. Yep. Thank you. Thank you.